Hi, I'm Wally. And I'm Carl. From Black Dot Energy. And today we're doing another video series again on the most amazing solar thermal systems in South Africa. With this, we're demonstrating to the South African market space the capability and the skill set to do large scale solar thermal in this, this green economy. And demonstrating that South Africa is ready to, to showcase these systems and to make it a viable business unit. We're at the University of Pretoria today at the Buchan Heights Residencies and uh, we are going to be taking a look at this magnificent system that has been installed here. Let's go have a look and meet Henning Olam. Behind me you see one of the eight systems at Buchenhout Ulinot uh, residences. Uh, we start on the roof with the flat plate collectors which are connected in series and parallel. The idea is to reduce the flow and to have a relatively small pump bringing the heat down. That goes through a solar charging station, which in essence is a very big heat exchanger um, with uh, two pump systems. On the one side, we've got the glycol loop, which takes glycol through the panels to avoid freezing, very important. And on the other side, uh, we load a storage tank, a relatively large solar tank, so that you can stratify that water into hot and colder layers as you go down in the tank. The pumps are very small, um, typically 20 to 30 watts, um, and consume very little energy as such. Um, on the discharging side, we've got what we call a fresh water station. So we've got the cold water coming in through a water meter, to measure the consumption of the students, then going through the heat exchanger and instantaneously heating the water loop into the building. In the bathrooms, then, we've got low-flow shower heads and uh, taps, and these uh, taps are timed. So if you do press them, they run for about 30 to 60 seconds and consuming little water, so you cannot forget an open tap or a dripping tap or leave it by accident open. All those pipes, as you can see, are well insulated about the thickness of the pipe itself. Then behind me, we've got the storage tank. It's a vertical tank, again, promoting the idea of hot water at the top and stratifying with very thick insulation. And you see that all the pipes penetrate the tank at the lower level, and this is to avoid a heat leakage at the top of the tank. The tank itself is insulated with about 120 millimeters uh, uh, rock wool, which is uh, far beyond the specif uh, standard specification. On my left hand side, you see a backup uh, resistive element, um, only heating the top third of and these are for periods of extended cloudy weather. The heart of the solar system is the central buffer tank, in this case a 7,200 litre tank. Buffer meaning that the water that is inside this tank is not the water that we consume, it is merely a thermal battery. To our left hand side we've got the solar charging station, in this case, a 150 kilowatt um, heat exchanger with a pump regulating towards the tank on the one side and on the other side going towards the collector and back. You'll see at the collector here that we've got an up and a down flow on each of these systems, meaning that they are connected in parallel threes and banks of threes and then in series in a row. And the idea is to lengthen what we call the thermal length, um, meaning that the water goes flows through only once to heat it up. And the idea is that you've got very low flow and high efficiency on the system, even if the efficiency is a bit lower on the collector itself. Then we've got the membrane expansion vessel, which we've seen at the back there. In this case, these are two times 240 liters. Um, and they control the pressure in the collector loop. So here we are on the roof with the, the solar collectors, uh, a, a configuration of 15 panels, and you can see four banks of them. There are some, some smaller collectors at the back, which I'll, I'll show you at the moment. Um, and 
aesthetically very nicely done. Um, what Henning has, has achieved here is optimal efficiency. The copper pipe has been insulated with a very thick uh, insulation and then the galvanized um, uh, 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 finish on, on the insulation to ensure that, that 20 years plus expected life on, on the system. <coughs> All these factors contribute to, to maximize the efficiency of the system and that investment that you do in your, your, your uh, solar um, collector loop. What is very nice, this is now the middle of the winter, so our, our sun cycle is at its lowest. And even with that, you can see that there's no sun shade on, on the rear bank of the panel. So very nicely designed um, and needs to be calculated into your system as well, that you optimize the efficiency. A lot of the times, your roof space um, determines um, a, a lot what can be done in, in, in solar thermal harnessing of, of that solar energy.